In November, my team began serious negotiation with a bipartisan group of senators. The result was a bipartisan bill with the toughest set of border security reforms we've ever seen. Oh, you don't think so? Oh, you don't like that bill, huh? That conservatives got together and said it was a good bill? I'll be darned. That's amazing. That bipartisan bill would hire 1,500 more security agents and officers, 100 more immigration judges, help tackle the backload of two million cases, 4,300 more asylum officers, and new policies so they can resolve cases in six months instead of six years now. Republicans can cut Social Security and give more tax breaks to the wealthy. I will. That's the proposal. Oh, no. You guys don't want another $2 trillion tax cut? I kind of thought that's what your plan was. Well, that's good to hear. You're not going to cut another $2 trillion for the super wealth. That's good to hear. I'll protect and strengthen Social Security and make the wealthy pay their fair share. But unfortunately, politics has derailed this bill so far. I'm told my predecessor called members of Congress in the Senate to demand they block the bill. He feels the political win, he viewed it as a, would be a political win for me and a political loser for him. It's not about him. It's not about me. I'd be a winner, not really. I. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of the thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border, people pay people, people pay these smugglers 8,000 bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years before they have a hearing. And it's worth the, taking the chance of the $8,000. But, but if it's only six months, six weeks, the idea is it's highly unlikely that people will pay that money and come all that way, knowing that they'll be able to be kicked out quickly. <laughs> Folks, I would respectfully say, to suggest my, friend, my Republican friends owe it to the American people, get this bill done. We need to act now.